At 16 years old, I met a cute boy who liked the Beatles and the White Sox. That same boy asked me to be his girlfriend in the hallway of our high school on November 16, 2012. We moved to Texas a little over a decade ago, and I don't remember Texas life without Sam. When I asked you to be my girlfriend in the high school, I had no idea at that moment I was committing to the rest of my life. Thinking back now, I couldn't be happier than I did. In college, I dated a young man. That young man and I continued to learn and grow more than ever in those four years. That man pointed me to Jesus. He supported me. He tried to keep me sane. He believed in me. He made me laugh. And it was in those years that I realized that that young man was the love of my life. Becky and Jim, you did a fantastic job raising this young man. And all of those, Sam is my third favorite of all of your sons. He is perfect for Caitlin. The three words that I came up with that represent Sam, loyalty, toughness, and maturity. Sam is a loyal individual. The guy's got your back, he's a supporter. There's a huge group of friends and family people here that Sam has just, he's the rock. And Sam, I want you to take that same loyalty into your, your marriage. I know I am too lucky to have you as a wife, so I have to thank God every day for bringing you to me. I love you, Kate, so much. I truly have been the most blessed friend and now husband anyone could ask for. She's just been a huge inspiration to me my entire life, and I remember as a kid, I just always wanted to grow up to be my sister, Caitlin. And so, after many years and many fights over her getting so annoyed that I copied everything she did, she taught me one of the most important lessons I'll ever know. She taught me that I didn't have to be her when I grew up. She taught me that the best path to take was um, just going to be the best version of myself and not trying to be anyone else. And most importantly, she taught me what it looked like to live a life with the Lord. I don't want to be Caitlin anymore because she's pretty or because um, she has her life together. Instead, I just want to be much, much more like Caitlin because of that incredible love and compassion and encouragement that she has towards everyone. Dear God, um, you are good, you are great, God, and God, I'm just so happy that Caitlin got thrown into my life when, we were, when I was 15 years old, God, and I have been the most blessed man, and now going to be the best, most blessed husband ever. November 15th, 2018, that man got down on one knee and asked me to spend forever with him. It is now November 23rd, 2019, and I am marrying that cute boy from high school. I never thought that this would be my reality, but I am so thankful that God had this sweet story set aside for us. Because I have fantastic news. Uh, you're about 30 seconds away from being married. Yeah. By the virtue of the authority given to me by the Church of Jesus Christ in the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Uh, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Sam, you may kiss your bride. Your mornings bring joy and your evenings bring peace. May your troubles grow few as your blessings increase. May the saddest day of your future be no worse than the happiest day of your past. May your hands be forever clasped in friendship and your hearts joined forever in love. 
Your lives are very special and God has touched you in many ways. And may his blessings rest upon you and fill your coming days. To a lifetime of happiness, raise our glasses to the new Mr. and Mrs.